Hawaii lawmakers will hold a special session to deal with a $1.4 billion shortfall for Honolulu's nearly $10 billion rail project. Lawmakers from both the House and Senate sent a letter to the federal government on Friday promising to provide the city with a revenue source to complete rail. And they promise things will be different. So will there be a tax increase? Or will there be a new proposal on the table? Sarah Madison got answers. House Speaker Scott Psyche says about two weeks ago, Hart reported a shortfall of $1.38 billion between now and 2024. How do you make up for that? Um, do you increase the GET again between now and 2024, or do you find another funding source? Psyche says a new proposal is being negotiated between the House and Senate. A starting off point would be raising the hotel tax or extending the hike of the general excise tax to pay for rail. Psyche says the city needs to provide hard numbers on how much rail is going to cost. The mayor needs to explain how a 10 year extension will address the shortfall that we will see between now and the year 2024. He has not done that yet. In a statement, Mayor Kurt Codwell says the city and Hart have provided lawmakers with the most current financial estimates about the project. Is there a leadership now in the Senate that uh, has a different perspective on this? Uh, they were on city council, uh, but at the end of the day, we will just have to see. Psyche could not tell us when the special session will start, but it will most likely be sometime in July or August. The session has to last a minimum of five days. We'll follow up and let you know when a date is set. Sarah Madison, KHON 2 News. So, how much will a special session cost you, the taxpayer? Well, each neighbor island lawmaker will get an allowance of $225 each day. So for a five-day session, for all the lawmakers, that's a total of $27,000. Airfare is not included because trips to Oahu are already paid for.